Hey everyone, Sweet Johnny Cage here, back with another guide for Elden Ring. This time I'm going to show you how to defeat the Erd Tree Avatar in the Weeping Peninsula. This is a really cool boss that has a fantastic couple spells that I can use and are just a treat to look at. Starting off, the boss is primarily just going to use these big lumbering swings with its giant hammer. Those are easy enough to avoid. Some of them are kind of like delayed hits, like that overhead slam right there. So just do your best to look at the boss's hands for when the attack is actually gonna come to you. After a little bit though, the boss will slam its hammer into the ground straight down and then gold stars will get summoned and then those will fly towards you. Really the easiest way to avoid those are to just run in any one direction constantly and they will all just blow right past you. But while you're doing that, you need to pay close attention to the boss itself because the boss can recover from using that spell and they just come after you. So it, it can be difficult to avoid everything all at once. I'll show you here again, just move in a direction and they'll all walk right past you, they'll fly right past you, not a big deal, but you see the boss starts coming after you, so you gotta watch out. Very similar to Abreatas' Call Beyond from Bloodborne. Pretty similar vibes, same general strategy to avoid it, although this boss is a bit slower than Abreatas. So that's really the whole boss. It has that big uh, ground pound butt stomp thing. And uh, to avoid that, you can really just roll right into it, very similar to most bosses that have a ground pound like that. Just roll right into it, get some free damage on the boss, and just go to town. I will say this boss took me several attempts because of the amount of damage that it can put out. It can be deceptive. Given that this is a field boss, however, <laughs> you do have to be mindful of your surroundings because you can aggro some enemies in the area. I have no idea where that guy came from. I thought the boss started using blood magic on me because I uh, started bleeding. But that's the whole fight. It's not that difficult. And there is a stake of Marika right behind it, so you can just keep running and attempting. And that's it. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment. I'll do my best to help you out. If you're looking for more guides for Elden Ring, please subscribe to the channel so you get alerted when you guys go live. If you're interested in supporting the channel monetarily, please consider becoming a channel member by clicking the blue join button below this video. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and join my Discord. The links for those are in the description below. As always, I'll switch on Cage. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.